Well, I've got a bit of an unusual problem compared to what I normally do on this channel, but today I've got a dead battery, it appears. And I've got this Harbor Freight load tester. Now, up on that needle right now, it says it's good. About 12 and a half volts. As soon as I put the test on it, it's down in the uh, bad section. Eight volts. Ah, 12, bad connection. Well, a lot of times people test their battery with a voltmeter. They'll see 12 volts, they think it's okay. When you go to start it, it's gonna drop. We'll see what it drops to. Yep, that makes it official. This battery is toast. Now I like this tool and the meter. I'm able to see that it's a battery problem and not an alternator. So this thing helps save money. And it's less than 20 bucks at Harbor Freight, so I think it's a pretty good deal. Yep, time to go to the store. Hey, I'd like to point out that this battery, I got it from Walmart, and it was made June 2013. Today it is December 11th, 2022. So this battery is nine years old. So I got my money's worth out of it. I'll put on a charger to show you what this thing says. Now keep in mind, I just pulled it out. It's the one that failed the load test. Typically, it will show a charge percentage. Ninety-two percent charge. Now, if that's you only had the charger, you would think this battery is okay. It's just a little weak. So that's a little misleading. Once you put a load on it, it internally shorts and then you can't start. I'm back with a brand new battery. It's time to see how this one does the load test. So far I've got over 13 volts test on. Still in the green. That'll work. Well, it's all back together. It's time to test this one out. Having 15 running volts means this charging system's good and this project's over. Hey, thanks for watching everyone.